So, I uh, ended up having some technical difficulties and the footage, or the, the, the video files for the Oklahoma game were uh, lost. Um, I know what I did wrong, so it won't happen again. But yeah, we'll end up moving on just straight into the Boston College game after this quick recap. So we'll just look at what happened real quick. Um, final score ended up being 38 to 35. It wasn't that close. Um, we scored a garbage time touchdown with 44 seconds left to make it uh, a three point game. We really actually kind of lost by 10. Um, we went into the fourth quarter, actually, with a three-point lead. I know I just said it wasn't that close, but um, we went into the quarter with a three-point lead, and then Oklahoma tied it up, like, just a couple plays in. And then they just kind of shot us down from there, and they scored two touchdowns in a row. They stopped us on a fourth down. Um, we had a big day through the air because we were just trying to play catch-up, you know, after they took the lead back in the fourth quarter. Um, we were really good on third down conversions and we held them to only being 28% on third down conversions. So we were good at getting them off the field. But part of that was because they were getting chunks of yards and not getting to a lot of third downs. They were getting 10 and 12 yard gains on first and second down a lot too. So it's kind of a two-sided stat really. So now we'll look at player stats. We'll look, at, we'll look at Oklahoma's quarterback first. Blake Bell um, went 18 for 23, just under 200 yards, 78 completion percentage. And other than that one pick, he had really good through the air. And then Blake Bell and their running back, Damon Williams, kind of torched us on the ground a little bit. But we expected that. I mean, we were playing Oklahoma. So we'll look at our player stats. As we mentioned, Trevor Sasek went 25 of 47, 365 yards through the air, three passing touchdowns, two picks. We'll look at rushing stats. Um, Andrew Pierce had a bounce back game, just under 100 yards, over five yards a carry. Um, Hawkins didn't do much on the ground. And then Joe Fortunato, our fullback, I love seeing this man. One carry, one yard, one touchdown. That's all you can ask for out of the big fella. And then we'll look over at uh, receiving. So Rob Jones will had five receptions. Um, he's just steady and consistent as always. And then Malcolm Bush, um, I've talked about him before, but the backup tight end, and he, he breaks he breaks the first tackle every time. That's all we can really ask for. Playing out of position like that. Um, Travis Hawkins was really good through the air. He had a big touchdown reception that kind of put us back in the game in like the third quarter, I think it was. I don't know, but he, so he had a better game through the air than he did on the ground. And then last week against Maryland, he had a good game on the ground. So Hawkins is just a really big catalyst, not just for this offense, but for this team, man. He, he does it all. Deontay Cherry, again, you know, he's just that sneaky kind of third option, fourth option, I guess, if you count Andrew Pierce, um, who's really going to grow. He's a rising star in this offense. Um, he's going to be a big part of this team going forward because he's only a freshman. So, yeah, um, sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I know what happened, that what I did that caused the loss of files. So should be able to fix that and make it not happen again and, yeah, we'll just jump right into the Boston College game. Welcome to Newark, Delaware, as we welcome the Boston College Eagles to town. Um, we're going to take a look at the American Conference standings as we are on top for now, and we will play undefeated so far Boston College in our second um, American Conference game. Uh, again, we messed up the footage with the Oklahoma game, but that won't happen again, so we're going to get underway here in Delaware and welcome a pretty good uh, Boston College team to town. They like to run the read option. They like to throw the ball. 
they got a good quarterback in Chase Redding, so it's going to be a challenge. So we'll get underway here as we kick off. We defer, we elect to receive in the second half as Redding rolls out for his first play. He throws it and he leads his receiver out of bounds, so that's incomplete. And this will be second down. They come out in a five receiver set. Redding's going to drop back to pass. And he's going to get a receiver on the outside, but he's going to drop it. So right away after two plays, we have Boston College in third and long. We have a chance to get him off the field here and set the tone early on in this game. Another five receiver set. Redding's got all day to throw. He tries them deep, but Mario Rouse is not having any of it. You're not going to win jump ball situations with Mario Rousen. He's a 6'3 corner, and he's bigger than most receivers. As you see there, that height advantage gives him the opportunity there to pick that one off. And after the turnover, on just the third play of Boston College's first offensive drive, they turn it over. And we have a chance here to come out and hit Boston College in the mouth and walk them to Delaware. So we'll hand it off to our workhorse, Andrew Pierce, up the middle, and he'll get a nice gain of about six yards. They show his season rushing stats here. 324 yards on the ground, four touchdowns. Almost all those were in the first game against Texas State a few weeks ago. As we need to get him going, then we'll try Roman Tatum on a bubble screen. He just gets a couple yards, so now it's third and short. We need to convert here. We hand it off to Andrew Pierce, and he gets stuffed. Nope. So it's fourth and one. We're at midfield. You know how we do. We're going to come out and hand it to Big Joe. Get it, he can get us one yard. So Joe Foyer takes the handoff, and he does. Three-yard gains. He need Three-yard gain. He needed one. Move the chains. So here we go. First, er, well, after an incomplete pass, or a short run, rather, it's going to be Sasek. He's going to roll to his right, and he finds Rob Jones. Awaiting Rob Jones. And he throw really accurate pass, you know, throwing on the run here. As Rob Jones is wide open and he's calling for it. He gets it, he turns around, he breaks a tackle and gets a nice gain of about maybe seven yards, I will call it, after the completed pass. So now after that nice play from Rob Jones, he's gonna loft it out to Rob Jones again and another accurate pass by uh, Sasek to Rob Jones there on that drag route. Throws it where only Rob Jones can get it, and he comes down with it. So now we're knocking on the door here in the red zone. We hand it off to Travis Hawkins, and he just gets smacked, and he loses the ball. Oh, no. Bye -bye. And he's just going to run that one all the way back. Wow. And as we were marching down the field, getting ready to look what looked like was going to be a promising drive and put it in the end zone, Hawkins fumbles on the sweet play and Boston College brings it back. So here we come again and Hawkins is going to get a nice return here. Set us up in good field position. He gets past the 50. Hawkins just doing what he does and we're going to bring Rob Jones in motion here for a jet sweep play. He's going to cut it back inside. He's going to make a man miss and he's going to get a nice gain of 13 yards. So Rob Jones is vibing so far in this game. Um... We need to make something happen here after Hawkins uh, fumbles on the pretty much the goal line there. We're going to motion Hawkins out, try to get him deep. Sasek's going to throw it, and he's just going to under throw it. Oh, man, it looks like Hawkins had a chance there. So, man, two turnovers. Uh, that one isn't Hawkins' fault that time. If Sasek, maybe he just didn't have the arm strength for that, but he just... Just noodle armed that thing and throws it straight to Boston College. So now Boston College is out on offense as their tight end Parsons is going to break a tackle, throw a man off, and get a nice gain of 22 yards. So we've had a couple chances here to uh, make something happen on offense, and it just hasn't worked. As now Redding is going to drop back, he is going to break it. I'll get away from the nope. sack and spin around, throw it off of his back foot, and just throw it straight to the defense, and we're going to knock it down. So we forced Boston College to punt, and now we're back out on offense again. As Sasek runs the veer, he breaks a tackle, and he gets a nice gain of about 11 yards. 
So let's see if we can uh, move the ball here without turning it over as we're going to hand it off to Andrew Pierce. AP is going to roll over a defender and then run over a defender and get a nice gain of 13 yards. So after an incomplete pass here at second down, we're going to hand it off to Pierce again. Pierce is going to cut it back, cut it again. After a couple cuts, he gets about five yards. So third down here. We're going to run the triple option. Sasek is going to hand it to Pierce. Pierce is going to make it. Seven yards. Pierce is doing pretty good in this game too. Six carries, three, 33 yards. So good to get him going. So now we're going to drop back to pass. Sasek is going to find Malcolm Bush out there for a nice gain of about 15. So here we go again. Similar situation. We're uh, knocking on the door. We're at about the 14-yard line. Let's see if we can get it in the end zone here. Sasek's going to drop back to pass. He's going to find Boyle, and they're just going to get Boyle before he can cut it back upfield. So now that's second and five. And after an incomplete pass, it's third down. We come out in five receiver set. Sasek's going to drop back, and he's going to find Cherry in the end zone. He was wide open. Deontay Cherry makes a really nice cut at safety. There was no way he was going to make that play as we tie it up now. From a nice connection from Sasek to Deontay Cherry. Um, so we do get in the end zone finally after a couple of bad turnovers as now Boston College is back out on offense. He's going to run the read option. It's Redding, and he's going to get a nice block as Gusty is bottled up, and he's just going to take it all the way. Bye-bye. One play is all they need. Chase Redding is just going to run all over this defense. He got great blocking on the outside there. And now Boston College is back up by seven, just like that. So now we have to come back on an offense and try to answer here. We're going to run our own read option. Sasek is going to keep it. He's also going to get nice blocking. He's going to break a tackle falling forward and get a nice gain of about 15. But that is how the first quarter ends. Uh, we're down on Boston College by one touchdown after a couple of bad turnovers. So here we go. We're going to fast forward into the second quarter a little bit after we just kind of traded punts with Boston College. So Sasek's back to pass again, and he's got Malcolm Bush over the middle for a big gain of 23 yards. Accurate pass there by Sasek. So now it's first down after that nice catch. We find Roman Tatum on that stick play. He turns it upfield and gets a nice gain of 14. So here we go. We're in the red zone. We got a chance to tie this game up. We run an option there. Sasek, or Pierce makes a man miss on a nasty spin move there, but doesn't really get anything. And we go incomplete on the next play there, and Boston College forces us to settle for three. So now they're back out on offense. And he hands it off to Williams, and he's going to get great blocking. Yeah. He just but shoved Hawkins onto the ground there. On the, what a great block by that receiver. So now it's second and three for Boston College. They're back out the shotgun. Redding drops back. And he finds Williams in the flat. Nice gain of about 20 yards. So Boston College is running their two-minute drill now. Under two minutes to go before halftime. They're going to drop back. Redding's going to find Swigert. That was just a uh, – Brodsky was all over it, but he just threw a great pass where only his receiver could get it as their coach is going to call a timeout here. And Sinkovich is in motion. It's a play action. And then another nice pass to Alex Admin, Admonton, whatever, whatever his name is. A nice accurate pass there by Chase Redding. Chase Redding is just – more than we can handle so far in this game. And, but then that, that, that time they get him, they run a read option, and we just send too much pressure as Mackle's going to get him in the backfield. So now it's second and goal. Clock's ticking. We're approaching just a minute here. Left to go before halftime. They run another read option. Redding's going to go outside, nope. but he's not going to get anything. Well, three yards there as Brodsky's going to get him that time. So now it's third and goal. Redding drops back to pass. It's a screen play. We're going to get to him, but he's just going to shove a Bye -bye. man off. Andre Williams, their impact running back, catches the screen pass there as it looked like David Mackle got to him and was going to shut him down, but he just shrugs him off. He throws a stiff arm there, 
and just pushes him off and walks into the end zone. What a big time play there. Yeah, Andre Williams. So now we're going to try to tack on some points here before halftime. It's under a minute to go. Going to line up to pass. He's going to throw it deep. He's got Roman Tatum. Roman Tatum beats the press coverage. And he's down to about the 11, maybe the 12 on a huge play. As you see him just, I, he was probably, it looked like that was a linebacker there lined up on him. And Roman Tatum just beats that press coverage for a huge gain. So now we are in a good position to try to get some points before halftime. As the clock is ticking here, we're going to hand it off to Andrew Pierce to uh, try to get us closer. Andrew Pierce is going to get about four yards. That We kept it on the ground there, so the clock's running. We line up quickly. We're going to drop back to pass here. 20 seconds to go. Sasek drops back. He throws it to Hawkins, and he's just going to get stopped behind the line. So that's going to force us to use our last timeout with 14 seconds left. Third and nine here. Sasek drops back. He throws. He tries the third route, but Silva's just going to pick it off in the end zone. Boston College slams the door. We try to throw it up there and let Michael Johnson go get it, but that corner Silva was all over it. So we go into halftime down 21 to 10, and we come back out here at the beginning of the third quarter, second half, and they knock that one down here. So now it's third and long. Sasek drops back to pass. He just flings it and throws another interception. He just, there's nothing there. So now Sasek has three picks, uh, four turnovers as a team with Hawkins' fumble. We got to stop turning the ball over if we want to try to stay in this game. Boston College is back out on offense. Nope. They're going to run an option, and Brodsky's all over it. They're sick of hearing Redding breaking it. So now that's second and 13 as they're going to run a – it's going to hand it off to Williams. Nope. And Mario Rousen is there that time to stop him. So now it's third and 11. We got a chance to get Boston College off of the field here. They line up in shotgun. They're going to drive back to pass. Redding's going to try it deep that time. And he's nope. going to try Mario Ralston again, even though he picked him off on pretty much that same play early in the game. And that time, Mario Ralston's going to knock it down. You can't beat Mario Ralston on those deep routes. So now we're back out on offense. We hand it off to Andrew Pierce, and he gets a nice gain of about eight yards. So second and short here. We're going to try a little play action. Sasek's going to throw it, and he's got Johnson running to the sideline on that out route, and he'll break a tackle at the end of that play and gain a couple more yards. Our two outside receivers, Johnson and Bush, are two very big, strong physical receivers. They always seem to make that corner miss. The safety always has to come down and finish the play. So now we hand it off to Andrew Pierce, and he's going to run over the linebacker and get a nice gain of almost 10 yards as it makes a second in inches. And we'll try that same play we tried a minute ago. Play action, and we'll throw it to, it'll be the same pass this time, but instead of Johnson, it's Jones, and he catches one going out, out, out of bounds. So now we hand it off to Andrew Pierce, and he gets tackled soon, and he gets four yards. So now we're knocking on the door again. We're in the red zone. <laughs> we haven't been able to capitalize in the red zone so far as Andrew Pierce gets another gain of three yards, and it looks like they got away with a face mask there. So now it's third and short on the goal line. We need to score here if we want to stay in this game. We're going to drop back to pass. Sasek's got it. He sees nothing. He's going to roll to his right. He's being chased down. He tries to in the end zone, but... Nope. Milburn just misses it as it looked like it was a pretty accurate pass, but that was going to be a tough catch. As coach decides to be aggressive here, we're going to hand it off to Andrew Pierce. We need this touchdown. He gives it to Pierce. Pierce pounces it outside, and they swallow him up. So again in the red zone, they're going to get us off the field and make us have another failed drive in the end zone, in the red zone, excuse me, with no points. Boston College's red zone defense has just played amazing this game as now they start third drive deep in their own territory. And then it's going to get picked off by Craig Brodsky. He's been everywhere on defense for this team. 
this game, and he forces a turnover there. Okay, so now Brodsky gives this offense another chance to try and redeem themselves and gives them good field position. We hand it off to Pierce. He's going to bounce it outside, and he gets a nice gain of 11 yards for the first down. Pierce has 75 yards on the ground now. We'll hand it off to him again. He gets a nice hole right there up the middle, and he gets a nice gain of eight yards. So now second and short again. We're gonna try another play action pass. Sasek's gonna roll to his right. He sees nothing, he keeps rolling to his right. He's gonna throw back across his body, which you don't wanna do, and we turn the ball over again. Sasek breaks the number one rule that you have as a quarterback. You don't throw back across your body, and Justin Simmons, the safety, makes him pay. We turn this ball over again, and we do force them to go three and out, so we're back out on offense here as we fast forward a little bit. He throws it to Mike Milburn, and he is streaking down the sideline, a huge gain of almost 50 yards as coach calls them to hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Sasek's going to drop back to pass again. We need to score here. As Sasek finds Milburn again up the middle on a nice 16-yard gain. So it looks like we might have a quick strike here and get back in this game. As Sasek's going to He's going to try Milburn again, and he Bruh. has it at first, but then he drops it. Oh, that was a huge drop because that was a touchdown. So now it's second and 10. We're going to run a read option here to get a little bit closer. Sasek's going to keep it. He's going to cut it back inside, and he gets eight yards. So now we were just in this situation a little bit ago as we're going to head into the fourth quarter. It's third and two as we flip ends of the field. We're going to hand it off to Andrew Pierce. He needs to punch this one in for us, and they just nope. stuff it. God, in, uh, Boston College's red zone defense has just been on fire today as they force us to go for it again on fourth and goal. We hand it off to Pierce, and they get him. They shut him down. Another red zone stop for Boston College. Oh, that is just a heartbreaker. They're back out on offense now. and uh, It looks, I think, earlier that Redding got hurt. So we see their backup quarterback run the read option here. He hands it off. And nope. we're actually going to force him to a third and short. Nice tackle there by Brodsky. So now it's third and short here. We're gonna see if we can get a nice stop. They're gonna run the speed option and nope. we're just all over that. So nice defensive stand there as we're gonna force them to punt again. We come back out on offense. We need to get in the we need to get in the end zone. We've had too many failed attempts on offense. As Sasek throws it again, and Harrison just tips it and off of the tip. Boston College's defense is going to pick it off again. Trevor Sasek has thrown five interceptions in this game, and that will be pretty much the way this one ends as the fourth quarter, nothing else happens. Boston College's defense should get the game ball as they force six turnovers, and we lose by two touchdowns. What a huge, huge defensive game for Boston College and maybe a wake-up game for Trevor Sasek as he uh, does go for over 300 yards through the air, but you cannot throw five interceptions and expect to have any chance to win as this is probably a comeback down to earth game, like I just said, for Trevor Sasek as he played pretty good in the Oklahoma game and pretty good in the Maryland game, the game before that, but... Uh, yeah, we're reminded we're starting a third-string quarterback. As now we look at rushing stats here. Andrew Pierce had 76 yards on the ground on 19 carries, four-yard average. That's not bad. Um, receiving, Roman Tatum had the most receiving yards because he had that huge um, reception the right before halftime. Um, we spread the ball out pretty good this game. As you see, Rob Jones here had a couple good catches. Malcolm Bush did. And then later in the game, in the fourth quarter, we uh, got it to some backup receivers. As now we'll check out defensive stats. Craig Brodsky had eight tackles and an interception, and David Mackle also had eight tackles. And then I think Mario Rousson had a pick too. 
as we'll cut our final team stats we outgained them for total offense but uh, it didn't matter because we just couldn't get in the end zone their red zone defense was ridiculous they rushed for 152 yards on the ground just off of a couple big plays um, they didn't hardly throw the ball at all but then here here's the big stat for the game other than the turnovers fourth down conversions we, only, we went for it four times only got it once and all those were in the red zone and our yeah our red zone offense was just terrible <laughs> eight red zone attempts and 25 percent and then we turned the ball over six times that can't happen so we'll look forward to next week here well actually we have a bye week and then we look forward to next week but we'll look at our next game here as we're going to stay home and play the temple owls from philadelphia as herbie is going with us here and uh, we lead them in every offensive category and they lead us in every defensive category so it's going to be a battle of a strong offense against a strong defense as herbie's going with us as temple has struggled as they started off uh, one and three so We'll take a look at uh, Temple's schedule here as their only win came in week two against FCS East and that was only at a 10 point margin as their three losses came against number 25 uh, Ole Miss and number 20 Kansas State and then an in-conference opponent in uh, East Carolina and they do have a high powered air raid offense. So not easy teams that they've lost to by any means but then their only one win is like we said an fcs school so we'll take a look at some of their impact players on that higher rated defense of theirs uh we'll start with their middle linebacker nate d smith um he's a redshirt sophomore who has 21 tackles on the season and a forced fumble to go along with those tackles um he'll be looking to patrol in the center of the field there and slow down andrew pierce in this rushing attack as you see all of his he's an 84 overall and you see all of his stats are all in the mid to high 80s some of them are in the uh, low 70s but he's a solid middle linebacker there for uh temple as well check out this uh other impact player on this defense of so theirs uh junior corner anthony roby who has 19 tackles on the season along with a sack and three picks and three pass deflections to complement all that um, he's a solid pass defender um, definitely deserves that impact star he's got and he's also uh, rated in the 80s at 82 overall with some solid speed and solid man and zone coverage so we got a challenge next week against temple so make sure to come back for the next episode as we stay home we take the field in newark delaware to take on the temple owls it's gonna be a good one see you next time go blue hens